Hey everybody, there you go. We are in Ginza. There's the Shinkansen going by in central Tokyo. And in this live stream, we're gonna be talking about rent prices in the city of Tokyo. Um, as you know, Tokyo is an extremely expensive place to live, but it all depends on where you live and how you live. And there's a lot of other criteria that go into it. So when people ask me all the time, how much rent do you pay? and where's the best place to live, all of these things, all I can say is that it just depends. If you look at this map here, this is the center of, of Tokyo, this is Ginza. Uh, Hibiya Park's that way, and Higashi Ginza's this way, and this is where we are right here on the map. Boom, this is Yurakucho Station, and this is uh, uh, Ginza Yonchome. Ginza Yonchome is famous for having the most expensive real estate in the world. So they say. I think it was something like one meter costs like a million dollars. So I'm gonna walk across the street. Right there. That's where the old, the Sony Plaza building used to be. The Sony building now is being redeveloped and they're probably gonna build it in the same spot. Why? Because it's so expensive in Ginza. And it probably won't, won't be for a couple of years we'll see this building, but it's in the process of being built. And I'm not alone here. Oh no. I'm not alone in Tokyo doing this report. Peter is with me. But Peter decided to go walk about. I don't know where he is. I don't know where Peter is. Oh, there he is. I found him. I found him. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go over there and meet up with Peter. I guess he's price. I think he thinks he can buy this property in order to build a new house. Peter has his own house. Peter will not be buying the Sony building. <laughs> and that's right. Peter's gonna be joining us on this live stream as soon as this light turns red uh, or, or green or blue, as we say in Japan. Actually, I told Peter to meet me here, but he decided to make this difficult. <laughs> I, I see you. I see you. Do not, Peter, do not cross the street again. Don't even try to cross the street again. This is um, another intersection in Ginza. This is, I, I call this the Sony intersection. Ginza Yonchome, which is the most expensive intersection in the world, I believe, is right up there. Uh, there, there he is doing walkabout. He's just doing his thing. Stay there, Peter. We're coming to you. One more bar. It's turning red. red. It's turning green. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Dude, no, 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 no. Hey, Peter, where are you going? You fit into this background pretty nicely. Look at that. Check this out. Yeah. Hey, everybody. This was the uh, old Sony showroom. And moving to another spot, maybe. Oh, it's a transfer of notice. Yeah. So they're not coming back here? No, no, they're they tore the building down. Well, I know that. I don't see it, but th oh, this is a place. So it's already built, evidently. So we can check out the, the Sony showroom. Okay. Um, but first, I want to check, show you this. Look at this. This is really fun. What? Well, I was looking on this, this mural here they've drawn, and there's a uh, there's kind of like. Where's Walt? Sort of oh, is this him here? That looks like Johnny Walker. That looked like you. You know what? This looked like you about a minute ago. Same hat. I don't have my stride is not that big. You had to. <laughs> you got the hat. They have drawn Peter on this wall. <laughs> That's really cool. So look at this. There's some really fun pictures going on. Oh yeah, they do have cool murals, and I guess. These, oh, this is in. That's the. Um, that's either the De Beers building or the Audi building, in. Um, one? Yeah, is that the De Beers building, in Ginza? Yeah. It's hard to know what all these buildings are. They're changing so fast in the city, yeah. but they're in a park, um, eating at a food truck. Well, show them. A, look at this up here and see up here. Yeah. And it's set up to detect 
the uh, decibels that the building site is putting out. Oh, so this is an, a noise. This this is a noise detector. Okay. Hey. And you got to be near the, near the microphone over there. Oh, maybe. All right, you hey. well, go over there and yell, and we'll. Well, yeah, because you're you're I'm making a mental distur like a uh, audio disturbance well, in the city. Yeah, right. So anyhow, okay. so Tokyo's very good about being uh, peaceful to the neighbors, being kind to neighbors when they have these construction sites going on. So they 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 post the decibels that they're putting out, the noise, and they have a limit. I'm not sure what the limit is, but they also make these murals. So check this out. Look over here. So we got. Spider-Man. Oh yeah, they do. I didn't notice that. Oh man, you got sharp little eyes, but even with those glasses on, beady eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Spider-Man here. Awesome. And then this tough guy. This tough man. Is he, is he paying rent? Are these guys paying rent? Oh, I didn't even notice this. I like that. You you really. He's been drinking this. Your cult. Oh, tough man. Tough man, refresh. We'll be cracking this open shortly. Ah, uh, really? Really? Yeah, John's the one that needs this. Now that he's married and everything. It's, it's common knowledge. Um, all right, so, but this episode, this episode. Here's Billy Joel. That's not Billy Joel. Look, this episode is about rent, dude. Bob Dylan. This episode's about rent. Are they paying rent? No. Rent or no, they're not paying rent because this is a mural and they're not real people. Oh. We are real people. We pay rent. And this episode is about paying rent. And uh, I just moved into a new apartment. Peter has lived in other areas around Japan as well, right? Yeah. Yep. I've moved, this is my 17th or 18th move in the last no. 20 years. Yeah. I've moved all 17 or 18 times, all in Japan. Because of my last job, I would I would move every three to six months. So I moved a lot over the years. Uh, I've been living in the same apartment for 13 years, but before that job, I've been on the move a lot. And uh, I think we can Most, talk about- uh, As with some other fugitives that I know. I'm still looking for the one-armed man. No, that's not, that's not him. <laughs> oh, there she is. Wait, no. That's the headless girl. That's the no head woman, sorry. Have you seen the one-armed man? No com no comment. She can't comment. <laughs> she can't comment. I don't know. So, what we can, what we can do in this is to take your questions and look at look at the, at the live stream because this is a live stream, and answer some of them about the rent. But we're also going to talk about our experiences on, on on how much we've paid and why we paid that, and even why we live in the areas that we live right now. Um, yeah. Why don't you start? We're we're. So where, what's your exact address so we can go and stalk you? Okay. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, Maybe. Southwest Tokyo Avenue. All right, that sounds made up to me. Sorry. No, 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 no I'm honest. I'm honest. But I'm open to uh, to visitors. How much do you pay rent? I don't pay rent. You don't pay rent. No. Well, I built a house, so, but I can tell you what I paid rent at my place. Um, a couple places. Wait, ago. so you have to pay taxes? What are some of the costs associated with with owning a house here? Well, of course, you have property tax, and we have. Um, uh, well, if you have a mortgage, of course, if you're if you're if you got a, a loan to build a house or to buy a house, you have a mortgage. Um, How much is your property. property taxes? I don't. Can know. I ask that? I don't. Know. You can, but I don't have to answer. It. It's true. You don't have to answer it. Um, well, here we go. Look at this. Okay, this is something. Now, do they pay rent? Look it up there. Show them up, 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 up. Oh, wow. The rent goes higher and higher. Right. The higher you go in the building. Oh, she hit her head. Oh, she's going inside the magical box. What's the rent in that thing? Or is she a prisoner? You don't have to pay rent if you're a prisoner. Is that is that a... Pandora wearing a kimono? I think so. Just went into her box. <laughs> okay. Random stuff you find on the streets of Tokyo. So, the Peter owns a house now. This is what, what we've come up with. Peter owns a house now and he doesn't 
pay any rent. I pay rent. The last apartment that I lived in, I paid 100,000 yen per month, which is $1,000 about, more or less. And uh, what, I, what did I get with that? I got two rooms and a living, dining, kitchen area, about somewhere between 55 and 60 square meters. I got a balcony uh, on the sixth floor. One of the reasons, it, it, in, in this neighborhood was about 30 minutes away from uh, the center of Japan, uh, Tokyo. So it was, it, it's a little bit outside of the center, but um, I was only about 15 seconds from the train station, which is huge. Yeah. So I would be able to just run outside my door and I would be able to sit inside, uh, on a train within a minute. Just uh, was sort of cuts down. to put your clothes on first. I, I would put my clothes on first. Okay, okay. For those of you who don't know, Ginza on the weekends and during holidays is traffic free. It's called walking heaven. It's called Walking Heaven. Peter made that up just I now. Did not. I did not. They have a word for it. Japanese. Seriously? Yeah. It's called Kokosha uh, Tango. Okay. Walking Heaven. And that's the Wako building, Wako department store in Mitsukoshi. This intersection right here, Ginza Yonshume, is considered the most expensive property in the world. And, and there you can see up there is where the new Sony head building is, along with Nissan. And they usually have a really killer car right. on the and ground floor. They have, uh, the engineers sculpting a model car so that you know they have the the styrofoam and they're in there shaving away and creating really uh, yeah I've i seen didn't know that recently. let's go let's go take a look real quick so uh, as i said in, in the apartment tour so we've both done apartment tours you can see t uh, peter's apartment tour i'm gonna put a link right up here and you can see what what his house looks like and um i did an apartment tour on my own about what two days ago so you can see what what I was I was getting for what I was paying, which was a thousand bucks a month. What's a concept car? No, this is awesome. Look at those people. They got they got seats or they got like. I could pay like two years rent with that car. I bet. Maybe more. Way more. I could just buy the house with that car, right? You could buy the whole building. Look at that thing. So she's a beaut. It's a Nissan. Concept 2020. Concept 2020. Nissan it's Concept 2020. Gran, Gran Turismo? What'd you say? It's a, it's a Nissan Concept 2020. Gran so this doesn't exist. But that orange one, that orange one does. GT or something, right? I've, I've played video games with that kind of car. Very cool. Yeah, I love that color. I had an old Volkswagen that Kind of a Sienna. Yeah. Nice. But um, yeah, John was saying Ginza is the real estate here is incredibly expensive. I don't know if it's the most in the world anymore. Well, wh but at what some else point would it was. be? Um, Dubai maybe. I don't know. I Dubai is all. It was all desert. You know, it's not. Hong Kong is pretty expensive as well. If, if you're from Dubai, do you get good firm or do not? Yes. Hong Kong is pretty. Yeah, that's true. Hong Kong is pretty expensive as well. But Tokyo is a, a place of diminishing space essentially i yeah. i don't know I, I always i've always heard that th that this is like one like a million dollars per square meter right? like something like for that. 10 centimeters i think <laughs> now i'm exaggerating yeah, just to be slightly. for like one centimeter is a million dollars i heard centimeters like that big yeah they know how big a centimeter is but you're way off with your calculations but we'll just let that pass okay. more importantly is the fact that Ginza is, if not the most, it is one of the most expensive places for real estate in the world. Yeah. So we don't live in Ginza. Um, however, there are apartments in the yeah. area, not too far, just a couple blocks over, a few blocks outside. I can of the Ginza. I can walk to my new apartment from really? my, to here. Yeah. And how long? How many minutes does it take? Thirty minutes. That's not bad. It takes you thirty minutes to walk here, and uh, yeah, it's sort of. But, it would, but by train, it would take me 30 minutes in my last place, but now I can walk, but I'd be here in the same amount of time. Nice. It's, it's nice. five minutes on the subway. So, it's, yeah, in your new place, how are you liking the new neighborhood? Have you met your neighbors? I did. You... Um, when you move into a new Japanese apartment, you want to meet the people above you, below you, to the left, to the right. There's nobody to my, to my right. So just to the people next door to the left. And, uh, and did you bring a gift? I did. What'd you bring? Some snacks, little cakes. Japanese type stuff yeah. that 
the Japanese palate would be acceptable. Yeah, acceptable. It was good stuff, and um, essentially, we said hello. She was she was really nice, and uh, look at that. Look at that cute little cute little doggy. Take a look. Hey, buddy. Wow. He's a genius. Peter, he looks like you. That could be you. That's a dog version of Peter. Oh, it's a university student. According to the owner. <laughs> All right. He's, he's in university, he's a university student. Yeah. And this, this young lady here is a high school. Oh. So those are the kids. One's in college, one's in high school. Wow, and they're pushing a little card here. Oh, cute. Hello. She's Yamada, Yamada Bean. What's the name? Yamada. <laughs> Yamada Bean. Yamada Bean. And Chris. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I wonder if they're paying rent. <laughs> Kawaii. So there you go. Typical day walking through Ginza with Peter. Stuff happens. That's right. Listen to Nosh. And Jim, smash that like button. Smash it. Smash it. And Peter will go and, and give those dogs a lick. If you get 200 likes, they will. Peter will lick that dog. I'll give this. I'll give this dog a kick if you smash those likes. No, no, you'll go lick the dog. No, I will not. Why not? I don't look, they're dogs. doing it. They're doing it. <laughs> they're liking it. All right, here's the. This is the Uniqlo flagship shop here in Ginza. Oh, I, I introduced it's about this before. Eight floors, one, two, three. Yeah, I remember when Uniqlo was putting this in, it was really, really expensive. Um, and it took, it took a long time for them to build this too. I remember when this was being put in. There you go. That's the, the toilet, the biggest Uniqlo in the world. Uh, once again, only in Ginza. Hey guys. Well, this is still relatively cold. I'm going to open it. All right, while we talk about rent, Tough, um, my tough man, uh, what is it? Yeah. Tough man refresh. Mr. Potter writes, M Peter Von God, notice me. What would you do in that situation? If someone asks to be noticed, hey, what do you do? Mr. Potter, did you watch my, my last video? If you watched my last video in its entirety, that answers your question. How about this goofball? Did you watch the video? There was a shout out to you, too. You didn't watch it, did you? Sorry. I will now. Thank you very much, Bo Yen Vlogs out of J Japan. Thank you very much. Um, uh, glad I didn't miss you. I am going back to sleep. What? Don't go back to sleep. And Mr. Potter, we're going to go buy a beer on Mr. Potter, okay? Thank you, Mr. Potter. Yes. I watched the, um, I, was, I got an award from YouTube. And, oh, that uh, one. Yeah. You did not shout out at me. What did you? Yes, I did. You didn't watch it. You, you, just, you have a, you have a. No, you know what? All right. All right. It took you so darn long to just get to the point on that video, I turned it off. There, okay, see? Just like it's taken us forever people, to get to the point on with, rent. People with mentality of yours miss all the jewels in the friggin' video. Well, you're supposed to put the jewels, look. The jewels are strung throughout, watch it. People my age, we have very short attention spans, the millennials. We millennials have, <laughs> wait, it's so funny about that. We have very short attention spans. If you do not make the beginning interesting, and you the and you tease us. Rocking from well, the, you teased us too long. If you tease us, we just go you, away. You do not speak for the majority of my now go my change generation. Your diaper. Go change your diaper and and watch it when you go home in its entirety. There's no. I don't have any kids yet. So, um, rent. Oh, here's another. Here's another construction site. Look at the the, the decibels. Why do they Why do they do that, Peter? Why do they add the um, decibel meter? Well, because they want they want to show the, the the how loud it is, how loud the construction is in in this area. I, I think they have a limit, and there's the, the the community or the committee, the building committee, 
um, designates a maximum decibel level, and they have to maintain that. Okay. And this is proof to the neighbors who might be complaining about noise. No, look, 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 it's 69 decibels. Let's get back to the point here, the um, rent prices in neighborhoods. As we've already established, Ginza is an extremely expensive place. There are apartments here. They're very, very expensive. They're very, very hidden, but most of it is office spaces. If you go this way, you go to an island called, uh, well, you get to Tsukiji. Tsukiji's got a lot of apartment buildings. Higashi Ginza ha have buildings. The price is for two rooms and, and a kitchen is about, it, they start at about $1,300. And this probably is on lower floors, very little sunlight, um, but you get a little bit of space. Okay, the let me, the let apartments go all the way up to about three to four thousand dollars for a flat, which is about the same space at two LDK. In yeah. which area? In Higashi Ginza, this area. Okay. okay. Skiji. So, like, like any place, location, yeah. location, location. Location. So the rents are going to be more expensive the the more convenient area you're in. Right. Okay. Um, however. The, it's a bit of a misnomer about Tokyo being the world's most expensive city. Well, guess what, folks? It's not. It's so, about location. Tokyo's a huge city. Okay, but you can come here as a tourist or you can live here and eat great food, great restaurants yeah. for way less than you would in New York City or even Portland, where I'm That's, from. You're talking about living costs now. Yeah, well, even as a tourist right. coming here. So it's not... It's not, it's not crazy expensive. New York City apartments are way more expensive than Tokyo for the amount of space that you get. Usually old, rundown buildings as yeah, well in New yeah. York, yeah. So I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think, I think we get a good deal for, um, for our places here. So, but, yeah, but it's less space you get here in Tokyo. Yeah. So you are paying for what you get, essentially. But they're masters of space planning. So you can, you can have true. a smaller place, but you, it doesn't feel like it's that small because everything is compact and it's it's um, yeah. it's made to utilize all of the space properly. Behind us is Ginza Yonchume. We've been walking for a couple hundred meters now, and that's one of the most expensive intersections. If we walk this way, we get to a neighborhood called Shinbashi, and Shinbashi, uh, the rent prices go down quite a lot because it's not as trendy. It's an older neighborhood. It does have. It's near the Yamanote Line. The Yamanote Line. Um, being a very, very prestigious place to live if you live along the Yamanote line, which is the central line, the train line that goes around the city, Japan Rail. Um, the price, the price is, how is that by the way? It's quite good. Okay, make it quick, do your plug. Tough man, refresh. Okay, so the, the train prices are very, uh, the rent prices are, are a lot higher along the Yamanote line because it's a prestigious line. It means that you live in the center of the city. Ideally, you want to live inside of the Yamanote line if you're one of these location snobs to say, I've got an address in front of, inside of the Yamanote line, which is where the emperor lives, who, which probably has the most prime real estate in the entire city, right? Mm -hmm. So location really matters. The Yamanote line is sort of a litmus of uh, prestige for address. It, now, I talked with a Japanese guy about 13 years ago who had an apartment in a place called Kamiedo. C A M C A M I E D O. If you're looking in Roman letters, Kamiedo. It's like turtle place. And this was four stops away from the Yamanote line. And I said, "How do you like your new place?" He goes, oh, "It's all right." I said, "All right? What do you mean? This is a pretty nice place, and you're you're like almost in the center." He goes, "Well, I I I'm." It's not a really trendy place because it's more than three stops away from the Yamanote line. Like, it's already been decided with some of the location snobs here in, in Tokyo that if you live three stops away from the Yamanote line, then you're living too far and you're not successful. Meaning success is kind of based on your address. So, you want to live in Chuoku, Minato-ku, um, Kotoku maybe, uh, Taitoku, which is where Asakusa and Ueno are located. Um, and what's uh, Ikebukuro? That's not Nerimaku, that's Toshimaku. Toshimaku. So these are the, and Shinjuku-ku and, and Shibuya-ku. And these kus are in the center and they, they encompass... Kitaku. The, yeah, Kitaku a little bit. Hey. <laughs> nice people. So th th those encompass um, the center of the city and those are the most desirable places to live. The, the, and, what, and that also means that demand is higher and that means the rent prices are higher as a result. Right, as with any, any place. Yeah, um, as with any place. But you know, back, back to what you were saying about how maybe in New York apartments are bigger, yeah. prices more. Possibly, yes. But 
One thing I've learned, one of my takeaways from, from moving to Japan is, you know, everybody has this dream of having a big house with 18 rooms and you don't, it's, just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I would never, ever want something like that. You would never use the space for one. How would you one. clean it? You know? Exactly. That's my Yes. That Small dust. apartments are easy to clean. You just yes. go like this with your hand once. Right. And you've cleaned you your once a time. You don't mat. collect a bunch of stuff yeah. except for John. You saw that post from yesterday, all that crap. That was Instagram. Is Instagram. Yeah, it was post. Yeah, Instagram post. He didn't know how to do an Instagram story. I just taught him. But anyways. Hey, what are, what are friends for? I love you like a sister, John. All right, so we've established now that the center of Japan is the, of Tokyo is the most desirable place to live. The rent prices are high because they're in higher demand. Is it a desirable place to really live, though? I mean, what are the advantages to living besides prestige of living in the center of Tokyo? Well, um, if you hate riding a morning train, if you have a yeah. job that requires you to get yes. to the office at the same time every day, like a nine o'clock start or mm. whatever, 9.30 is pretty common, then you gotta deal with long or crowded trains and perhaps a long ride. And who wants to be on a crowded train in the summer especially? Not I, no not way. I, no. So being close to where you work is critical. Yeah. Um, if you don't wanna be on public transport uh, in, in a very, potentially stressful situation. I still get, when people come on and they start pushing onto the train, you like I that. get edgy, no, I get really edgy, man. It's like, You get freaking, to know your neighbors though, you know? You beep, stop pushing me. And You yeah. do not swear. Occasionally, yeah, if do I get you? pushed really hard, oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true, the morning rush hour in Tokyo is so bad that it's almost better to just walk to work. Yeah. The problem is that, the. All right, so the problem is that it's more expensive, but you save on transportation costs as well, which is a couple hundred bucks yeah. a month. Yeah. I can now ride a bicycle just about anywhere in the city. So that sort of will cut down about two to three hundred dollars on transportation costs just because I can walk or ride a bicycle. Yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, this is like an eight minute bicycle ride from my house to Ginza. So, sort of a big deal now. Um, you ever shopped at Looney? No. What's great about Looney? Let's go find out. All right. Peter does not know the concept of staying on topic. That's okay. So, we've established the center of the Yamanote line. Now there's um, there's a place called Stamachi, which is the northern part of Tokyo. Now Stamachi, um, the apartment rent is a little bit less because it's an older town. Stamachi rents, I'd say about 30% lower than if you want to live down in Shibuya. Living down in Shibuya or the Yoyogi area, one of the higher places with, of rents to live, right? So Looney is all for ladies, so. You found that out. Yeah. I think the mannequins gave the story away, which is why I stayed in position. But you yeah. shop at ladies' I'm shops wearing. every now and then, don't you? I do. I do. You do. Yes. What are you wearing? <laughs> is that the, the uh, from that episode, the, the black man underwear? They <laughs> were wearing today's ladies' underwear. We d we really don't know and don't don't care. What makes you think I'm wearing any underwear at all? Commando, I see. Kronos Viper, thank you very much for the wedding gift. I appreciate that. Um, this is now we're going on two weeks. Peter was the MC of the wedding party. He did a pretty good job. Thank I'll you. say it to your thank face. You. I'll spray it. <laughs> is it a good job? Uh, <laughs> with it despite trying yeah, to roast me. I did roast you pretty well. A little bit. And, and people have been asking me to upload that, but I want to wait until you... Wait, you filmed you it? Approve. Yeah, I filmed it. Okay. Joji filmed it? It's one of the greatest roasts of all time. Oh, the wind is getting strong. Hold on a second. I'm going to go to Louie for a second. Let's go to the side. So thank you, Kronos. I appreciate that. Um, thank you. The, the, to get back on the topic though, Peter, rent yeah. and neighborhoods. Okay. What is the most desired neighborhood to live in Tokyo? You can't say that. It's all, it's case by case. It depends on the person. Well, they actually have a ranking. It was Kichijoji. I wouldn't want to live in Kichijoji. Personally, I wouldn't want to live in Kichijoji. Kichijoji is on the Chuo line. This is a line from Shinjuku going away from the sea. It's considered the most desirable place to live. Not, not because not because of the location. I, I don't know. There's a park near there, and that's right. where the um, um, 
park. Yeah, what well, what it's is big. yeah um, in Okashira Park, and that's so, where the Ghibli Museum is located. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Taka yeah. at the next station. Yeah. I don't know if that that makes it a desirable place to live, but well, it's it's kind of a bohemian. Yes. It has a bohemian feel, the people living there, lots of young people. It's similar to Shimokitazawa. Yes. On the Odaku line. Yes. Um, so a similar similar vibe. Mm. Um, it's bigger than Shimokitazawa, uh, Kichijoji. Yeah. And not not difficult to access, but it's not it's not for me. So it depends on the person, what the type of conveniences they want and uh, train access, etc., etc. So maybe I can answer the question with why I chose where I live. Um, what one, two, three, four, five main Tokyo Street? Tokyo Avenue. Tokyo right. Avenue. Sorry. Right. Apartment. This is you live three, in. Four, six. You live in Stamachi. Yeah, Stamachi yeah. is the north part of Tokyo, so the rent is a little, typically a little bit cheaper Let's than. Let's not give away Shibuya. too many details. All right. So, um, it's that's not necessarily, not necessarily true. Actually, somebody brought up. Oh, we, we won't go there. We'll we'll keep this on. on, <laughs> on top. Do not spill secrets. Okay. <laughs> so, the reason why we chose the area where I am is it was not far from an apartment that we had. Um, in, in Tokyo, in um, an area called Bunkyoku, and um, we wanted to live in that general area. That's so where we Tokyo looked. Dome is. Tokyo Dome. Yeah, it's not. It's not too far from Tokyo Dome. So we searched, and um, the the the, pre the prices for land, the prices for rent for apartments, can drop dramatically, even just one station away. So we looked. Um, just a, a few stations away from this apartment that we had, and uh, found some land that was that was cheaper than the area where our apartment was, and so we we went with that. And yeah. it's 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 a residential area. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. Um, there's, there's not a lot of except, great restaurants. Except for the. Can I mention that? No, no. Okay, I can mention that. No. Sorry. Um, so this it there's. There's benefits to it. It's like I said, it's residential. There's no tall buildings. It's yeah. quiet. Um, and uh, but you you it's, it's, but you but you but it's 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 far from the station. I know that because I've walked it many times. It's like How far is far? It's ten far. minutes. No, it's not. Which station? It's seven minutes. Okay, you're not gonna say the station, but uh, Chuoku Central Central District. No, the <laughs> but but no, my my point is. My point is that you you have a scooter, so the distance from the station does not really make too much of a distance. Most of the time, except you know when when we go out drinking or something, you will scoot to jobs. You scoot, can I say, is that a word? You yeah. scoot to uh, events. You scoot to places to right. meet up right. well, with your I scooters. Motorcycle, bike, scooters. Motorbike, scooters. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I I avoid. The Using the trains much as much as I can, but if I know we're going to go out and drink or something, obviously I don't ride a bike. Um, but uh, it's still not far. I think anything under a 10 minute walk is acceptable. Yeah. And once you start going beyond that, then the price is. Scooter Van Gom is trending now on. Well, somebody gave me. <laughs> I have an electric kickboard. Somebody. Oh. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Van Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come here, check this out. All right, hold on. Peter's got some something he wants to show you. All right, Peter, show us. There's a, um, an advertisement that I did for this company. Oh, you're the voice Festaria. of this company? Festaria is a specially cut diamond, and it has they they patented the cutting technique, and there's actually inside the diamond there's a star shape. Oh wow! So, so what was your commercial? How did you do it? Can we hear I your voice inside? Well, if they do it, do a search for "Wish Upon a Star." Wish Upon a Star Festaria, Festari and you'll yeah. find uh, Peter's voice. I think you'll find the video. Can There's you do it, or, or you have a non-disclosure? Yeah, I don't remember any of it. You remember? I remember doing say, it, but I don't remember any of it. Wish Upon a Star. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's... Uh, That's exactly it. Festeria presents... Oh, man, you should Wish you Upon know. a Star. You should have got this job. I know. I, I, I'm always getting, uh, you know, third place to some... Okay. Some dude. <laughs> All right. Can you zoom in? So, the center, the very center of the cut of the diamond has a star. 
Oh, I see it that. Is. Can you see it? I can. I uh, wait. I want to make a wish. Hold on. Oh, All right, my wish is finished. Yeah, I know. I did the commercial for it. Since she and Roblox does, YouTube video there. <laughs> Wish upon a star. So Peter's now talking with the shop. Peter is famous in his little circle. And his circle, his circle is getting bigger. But he's the voice of many things. Good job, Peter. He offered to uh, clean my rings free. Seriously? Why don't you do it? It's getting a little scratched up. Mine's a little bit. Does anybody watching know kanji? Can, if anybody can guess Dole. what this kanji is, you get a special virtual high five. You get to hang out with, with Peter in his flat, in his house. So one more time, here's the kanji. Okay. From left to right. Can anybody, anybody know it? No. Not, nothing yet. Uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. All right. Back to rent. Well, hey, why don't we? We're gonna make our way back to Tokyo Forum. How much time? How are we doing on time here? Um, we're going at 36 minutes. Okay. So we'll end in about 10 minutes. So you want to walk back or do yeah, a loop just, around? We can. There's not much down that street, but we we can go. Actually, not that far. Some Furuya-san, actually. We were pretty close to... Fudoya? Yeah. Fudoya san is the name of the rent places and usually in front of them they'll put um, listings for apartments that you can rent, the prices and the size of it. That might be interesting to show the people. Shimbashi has that, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. Possibly. Um, Wouldn't you guys like to see some live outdoor classical music at Tokyo International Forum that's going on right now as we speak. <laughs> oh yeah, but I would much rather see storefronts with apartment listings. This here, all right, what Peter doesn't know, this here is one of the most famous toy stores in Japan. Toy Park, it's, it's a big deal. Peter doesn't know that. He wants to go listen to classical music which I'm, I'm up for, but also we're talking about a massive toy store here and I think this is cooler. Now he's playing with, with this ball. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Whoa. Wow, this is cool. So the robots, soccer players. Yeah, I think kick I'd it. probably get tired of this real quick. Nice. Oh. Very cool. Very cool. It'd be cool if it also cleaned the carpet too, <laughs> like as a vacuum cleaner. Oh, that's creepy, -ish, sort of. It's Rika-chan. What's Rika-chan doing here? Rika-chan is the Barbie of Japan. Swing around and show the front. Rika-chan! Cute! Rika-chan! Very cute. Where's Peter? I'm right here. Should I give her my card? Is that your type? Is I didn't she... think it was, but I think it is now. Wow. Rika-chan is one of the most popular selling dolls and inside of this toy store, which is called Toy Park, they have it. And you want to show classical music? I want to show Rika-chan! <laughs> okay, give me a camera. What the, what the f Please, give me a cam. Camera! Oh, jeez. Alright, go take your picture. Alright, everybody, take a screenshot with him. Uh, Peter, you gotta wait in line. Peter's being rude. You have to wait in line. While you're waiting in line, I'm going to talk with the people. <laughs> so rent prices, yeah. If you want to live in Shibuya, Shinjuku, or one of these other central areas, um, you're going to have to pay more. You're probably going to have a lot less space. What they've done is 
the apartments down there, they're just smaller because they, they know that younger people want to live in that area, so they've made 1K, which is basically one room with a little kitchen unit where you can cook. Typically, they cost about 100,000 yen or $1,000. So by me living 30 minutes outside of the center of the city, for that same amount of rent for $1,000, I could get a little closet in Shibuya. I'm serious, that's about how much it is because I used to live in a place called Futako Tamagawa, which is a 10 minute train ride direct to Shibuya. $1,000 to live in front of the station, one room with a little teeny kitchenette. It was ridiculous. So in, that was in 2004. Peter's, Peter's still three deep in, uh, to waiting, waiting to meet Rika chan. But we'll bring you Peter's meeting Rika chan live. We're going to bring this live when you finally meet Rika chan. It's going to be awesome. Are you excited? You look excited. Yeah. So, so when it comes down to the prices of living in Tokyo, the Shibuya, Shinjuku, uh, Omote Sando, Harajuku, there are apartments there. You will get a smaller place. It will cost you for $1,000, get you one room. You will live there. You will live there. But it will give you one room with a little kitchenette and very thin walls, most likely. And uh, yeah. Or you could have the same thing, live 30 minutes out, and you'd have what I showed you a couple of days ago. Very cool experience. Very, I, I, I think it's, it's important for you to notice that if you want to live in a popular area, you will get less space for more money. That's like a no-brainer, right? So after Peter gets his dream wish, it's her birthday? You're going to sing happy birthday with your voice of God? She should pay you then, right? <laughs> He's got no comment. <laughs> Peter's gonna meet Rika Chan. Okay, Peter, don't scare her. Oh, Peter gets a sticker. You're gonna get a sticker, dude. Show it to us afterwards. Do you have your camera? Do you want me to take a real picture? Okay. Uh, give me your camera. I'll take it at the same time. Just set it up so... Okay. Photo. Okay. Peter's a big fan of Rikacha. Okay. Peter! Hi. Jesus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here you go, dude. How was it? Did you feel? Yeah, I'm in love. Are you? Slightly creepy, um, but. Hey. I'm just saying, I'm reading the comments. I'm reading the comments. I find my dream girl and you shoot it down. Yeah. Show me the pictures. Show us the pictures. Did I do a good job? I just want to, I'm kind of curious. Well, as I'm walking away, did you hope you no, got no, 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 no. That. I got more than that. I thought that was a nice shot. Is that good? Yeah, nice. And she's loving that. I know. She is loving that. It's a one moment in time, ladies and gentlemen. I love a woman one moment in time. Women in hats. It's just like one moment right, in time. Okay. Yeah, back this way. All right. <laughs> Let's go back. All right, back to the apartment rent. Apparently, we never seem to really stay on topic, but it's okay. Who says that? I say that. We're walking dead center through Ginza on on a holiday. They closed this street down. It's called Walking Heaven, according to Peter, who he didn't make this up. We've seen some really creepy stuff on the street. We've seen some cute stuff, like a dog um, dressed in a high school uniform <laughs> and a dog dressed as a university student. <laughs> and all this because we, we came here to talk about um, apartments, Tokyo apartments and, and locations. So Kichijoji is the number one most desired place to live for Japanese and uh, it's good for food vloggers that like to vlog about food because it's just filled with restaurants. It's a lot of trendy places. Hipsters, as you said before, Peter, live yeah. in Kichijoji. The rent prices 
are very high as a result. It's very hard to get an apartment in Kichijoji, but you can find it. You can find it. It just depends how much you want to pay. And when you rent houses in Japan, there's also something called reikin and shikikin. When I moved into my apartment about two weeks ago, the upfront cost was exorbitant. It was pretty big. Um, yeah. Like yeah. Six months rent. Up no, front? it wasn't that big. They wanted um, they wanted um, one month reikin and one 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 month shikikin. So I if, so, so right what, now I'm paying I'm paying um, one hundred and seventy thousand yen for rent. Which is about fifteen hundred dollars a month, about. It's reasonable, I think, right? But you should point out that for uh, where I am now, the reikin, which is it's called gift money, key money. Yeah, reikin is called key money, right? And you don't get it back. It's a gift to the the landlord. Shikikin is considered the deposit, right. and you technically get that back. Right. right. The other, and, and when you renew an apartment or uh, whatever your, um, you renew your lease. You have to pay that every two years. Every two years, you have I to did it in an Edogawa ward. It just depends on where you are. That's a sort of a Tokyo thing, where you have to pay one month rent every two years for a renewal. Yeah. It was a Tokyo thing. It's not does it's not universally all over Japan. Really? I paid a two hundred dollar um, renewal fee. It was about two mon, twenty thousand yen renewal fee at my old apartment. And I, I renewed it six times. That's how long it was there. Shoot. It was for that amount of space. It was you pretty good. That Nissan car over there. I could have bought that there. Nissan car. Or I could have rented it for like a day, maybe. But let's, uh, let's, let's kind of hide here. you want to go to, go through the center to the neighborhood? Okay. <laughs> let, let you know what? I got a place I could take you to lunch that I'm I'm just dying to eat. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna treat Peter to this. I don't know. I guess we'll do a little Instagram wait picture, minute, maybe. Let me, let me just let me back up for a second here. Did you guys hear that correctly? Can you repeat what you just said? I will treat you, dude. I'll treat you. But, I'm, but, all right, stop it. Right. But we're not going to go directly to your classical music thing, because that's what he wants to do. Just do it in the corner there, dude. Do it in the corner. Just walk through that door and do it there. Right. Maybe looking. You know, Kevin, Kevin and I, Kevin and I in a live stream and at Shinsekai, we saw a dude. We walked by a dude who was peeing against the wall. Oh, he just whipped it out. <laughs> it was like just peeing against the wall. It was pretty disgusting, but wow. we saw it live, and I couldn't edit that out. It's you can't you can't scrape that. Um, so before we go and eat, which is not that far away from here, Peter, I just want to wrap this up here. Sure. sure. Um, I want to look and answer some of the questions that you might have about rent. So let's get to that and just spend a couple of minutes. Is that okay? You got two minutes, Peter? Yeah. For the people? Want me to hold it? Did you lose your button here? Yeah. The, here, hold this for a second. It's that uh, bionic thumb of yours. It is a, it is a bionic thumb. Okay, I'm now playing all this, those is the, video games. this is the part of the show where things become more entertaining. When I hold the all stick. Right, give me back. Hey. All right, game over. We want to keep this on topic. You've taken us way off topic and made this stream very, very cool. All right, where can we sit for a second, Peter? All right, right here. All right, we're going to answer your questions right here. Up, 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 up. There we go. Peter, come on over here. I'm going to go talk to Rika again. No, no, no. We're going to wrap this up. This oh, is the okay. end of the live stream here. So right. we're going to answer some of your questions here from Ginza about renting apartments in Japan and get in, into the specifics. Rent insurance, um, I, I typically have to pay about 20,000 yen every two years for fire, earthquake. I had a choice between three of them. One of them was the basic, the other one was like a step up, uh, and then there's a premium one. I just get the basic. Uh, it covers fire, earthquake, and things like this. Um, generally. Uh, utilities, so it's about 20 to 60,000 yen or 200 to 600 uh, yen, two, 200 to 600 dollars every two years uh, renewable. In Japan, rents and contracts are two years. So they're re it's, I don't know why it's, it's been like this throughout history, right? Just it's a renewable uh, two years. Utility prices, Peter. Um, I just looked at my electric bill for April, it was maybe 15,000 yen. 
Um, and it uh, are you kidding me? No. Wow. Just just electric. I think just the electricity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's about one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. And well, yeah. I think I think that was the electric. Anyhow, it's, it fluctuates, of course, depending on the season. So in the, the dead of winter, where you're using a lot of heat, um, it's more expensive. But um, it's never really, really mm. high. Um, but, you know, of course, gas and electric and water, um, those are the three main. Well, you produce your own gas, right? <laughs> <laughs> I high five on that. Hey, why is he high fiving me on that? Hang on. I can't put these. <clears throat> my reading glasses. Is this, a com is this a comedian right here? Utilities. Uh, in my apartment, I lived in a 2LDK or a 2DK, which is two rooms and, and a uh, one room that was 12 tatami mats. Typically, the electrical bill was about 3,500 yen, and I wow. used a, yeah, and I used a lot of power um, um, editing because I had four hard drives and the monitor going all the mm. time, and sometimes a TV in the background. So typically, the electrical bill was between about 35 to 50 dollars a month. Um, I didn't use air conditioning very often because uh, in the summer you're really hot, in the winter you're kind of cold, just wear more sweaters, it's just sort of the way it is. So yeah, uh, water bills were about 25 to $50 every two months I paid the water utility. Um, the gas bill was always less, it just depends on how much cooking you do and how, much, how, much, how many baths you take because the water is heated using gas. The gas bill was usually the same, like about 30 to Thirty to thirty-five dollars a month. In general, my utilities I paid about a hundred dollars a month for all of them. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Well, when you have a smaller place, an apartment, especially if you're yes. was you're building concrete, I'm assuming. Yeah, it was. Concrete. Yeah, so that, that it was helps. concrete yeah. with mold, and oh, that mold bonus. takes and that bonus. mold sucks up some of the oxygen. I think so. Right. It's probably paying a hundred. But you made your own cheese. I made. I don't know if that's a dig at me or <laughs> like, you're, like, like, yes, moldy cheese. All right, so what else we got going on here? Uh, Utilities was a good question. Sublet, are you, uh, subletting, that's case by case. Um, um, a lot of contracts now, uh, with, with the Airbnb boom, a lot of the contracts now have clauses saying that you cannot use Airbnb. Thanks, Oscar. You cannot rent out apartments to other people. Um, because people were making money off of it, then the landlord wants to make money off of you because he's making money off of you. It, 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 basically, they don't want you subletting. Yeah. Old apartments probably don't have that clause in it, but the new contracts, because you renew every two years, and Airbnb out, has been out now in Japan for about four or five years, mm -hmm. the new contracts now have Airbnb-like clauses where you, it's getting more complicated. Yeah. Um, it, you have to be the owner of the house to do that now. Yeah, there's, and there's there's other restrictions as well. Like uh, yeah. you can only rent out an Airbnb for 180 days of the year. So, but anyhow, that's that's not the know. Airbnb prices in Tokyo are, as well are getting uh, a lot higher because of the restrictions that the government has put onto Airbnb. A lot of them can't stay in business as long. The demand is high, so the prices are also really high. Yeah. Uh, my friends at What's Inside, a YouTube channel, rented a house for Airbnb. That was the that they were the last tenants of that house. The owner of the house stopped was, renting it out. Oh, really? They were yeah. ending. Oh, and wow. they were paying about two hundred and fifty dollars a day, which is ridiculously cheap for a family to I mean that's like a five star hotel kind of price mm. at the Sheraton. Well I think a lot of people that get a whole house Japan want to experience living in a house, a Japanese style house while they're that's here. That's a way to do it's it. Fun. That's right. a way to do it if you're if you're coming as a tourist. Um, and you also get to, to experience the gas, the electricity, and you don't have to pay the bills, but you'll see how it runs. And um, yeah. it, it, that's also really interesting. Um, when it comes to neighborhoods, you, you can't rent my house. Sorry. You can't rent his house. <laughs> Why not? That's on the bad side business. Yeah, yeah maybe whenever. Maybe one, one day, day when he's out. he's yeah. yeah when yeah. when Joji moves out, maybe. Um, um, okay, I'm getting last last thing. Kichi Joji is a desi desirable neighborhood. What are the other desirable places to live in Tokyo? Uh, that's again. That's a hard thing to to pin for you. For me, I like where I live. I like, you like where, where I live. You live? Um, other places, though, I think if I was to live somewhere else, like dead center, yeah. I like I like Azabu Juban. Azabu Juban, yeah. Um, near Rapungi. It's kind of near Rapungi, but it's not in Rapungi, which I wouldn't want to live in Rapungi. That area has a lot of the embassies, so there's a uh, there's a big foreign population there. Usually, the foreigners who live there have some cash yeah. because the rent prices yeah. are high. 
Um, it's an old neighborhood that has a, has a lot of history, as Abu Juban. I like it. And like Hiro it. as well, like Hiro. Hiro's nice. Oh, my leg's starting to kill me. Yeah. The squat position. Right. All right, let's right. do the standing position. Right. Uh, so. I have, a, I have a, a squat squat pain threshold of about five seconds. It saves a <laughs> getting lightheaded. Yes, we're in our 40s. Speak for yourself. Speak for you, too. That's true. Um, the this na also where I live now in Chuoku, as you can see listed right here. And we're gonna wrap this up, uh, folks. I appreciate the questions. This is Chuo City or Chuoku. This is Chuo means center, central. And so I now live in the central area of Tokyo. I really like this area because of the history, and the rent prices here are kind of high too. Um, but I like the mix of having the office buildings because at night, all of the where are you going? Because at night, <laughs> we're going. No, we're, no, he's we're got to go to the he's got to go to the restroom. He told me. Uh, at night, all the people from the offices go home, and that means that the communities are a little bit quieter, um, which I also like. Yeah. Uh, and there's also lots of places to go out. The lunch places are filled during the day, but if you go out to dinner, they're usually not as packed here as well because everyone wants to go home because they live out in a house in Saitama or right. Chiba or some of the other places around. Um, I also like Yotsuya and Ichigaya. Yeah, a lot of green. That's in the center um, inside of the Yamanote line. Yotsuya is a nice place. There's lots of places to eat and, and small uh, trendy shops. I also didn't mind Futako Tamagawa so much but the problem was that it was snobby. I did it's kind of a little bit far. It's 10 minutes of Shibuya on the Den and Toshi line, but just the people were snobby. A lot of celebrities live there and I just didn't fit in because I like to talk with, you know, normal people. Right, right. That's what, one of the reasons why I moved. Let's walk to the lunch place because yes, you got to go to the, you got to go to the restroom. Well, most importantly, I think we got to let these people go. We got to let you go too. So I appreciate you watching this live stream. I hope this was somewhat helpful and entertaining. Yeah. This man is always entertaining. Check out his no, channel. Yes, yes. Can, I, can I plug it? Can, can I plug it? Can I plug it? So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, many of you have, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Having a blast creating content. It's Peter Von Gom is the channel name. He just passed 5,000 subscribers. Yeah, thanks to you, people. And uh, I got a special award from YouTube, so please watch that video. It's the second to the most recent. Um, but yeah, please subscribe. There's lots of lots of variety um, and. Uh, there's going to be a lot more coming. So, I a lot of people have asked about super chats when I do live streams. I'm waiting for YouTube to to authorize that. I'm going to ask somebody about that too because it's been too long of you not getting monetized. I'm going to look into that and help yes, help you please, out, brother. Please, yeah, thank you, appreciate that. You're and also, um, I have a Patreon account that is starting very shortly. I'm just kind of going, I'm going through some final. Do you, Do you have any well, supporters? Do you have any supporters? People asking me, and, I, and I'm, that's, I don't have the site up yet. I'm, I'm getting things prepared. So please stay tuned. In a very, very near future, that will be ready. Um, what are some of your so, rewards? Well, I don't have, I can't say yet. I can't say yet. Okay. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hammering out. Right I have a Patreon page, and uh, if you signed yeah. up, you can get the wedding postcard. A, a picture oh, of us wow. in the Japanese garden is going to be um, next month's way. Actually, I think you, because it's May, we started the next cycle. But if you, if you do, join the postcard club, then I can, I can try to get that one to you too, because it's an, it's going to be a special one. Okay. Well, thank you. All so, right. Peter Von Gom channel on YouTube. DBG. Please check it out. Please subscribe, most importantly, and like the videos. Huge thank you in advance for that. Bye-bye. Um, while Peter and I go to eat lunch, um, if you are interested in, in renting, I want to keep this all in one place, leave a comment below. Definitely hit that uh, like button, so I appreciate that very much. And leave a comment below about where, if you've lived in Japan, tell me about your, your experience. How much did you pay in rent? We're going to a place right here, dude. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you in this while he, Peter goes to see that shop. Um, if you, leave me, leave me your experience. Where did you live when you lived in Japan? How much pay, rent did you pay? What was special about your apartment? For me, typically, I like to rent a place that is within three to four minutes of the station because usually they they cheese the number, they kind of skimp on the number. It's usually actually five. To, it's usually two or three minutes longer than the number that they give on the form. Location of the station will also determine the price. Doesn't matter even if the station is far away. If you live in front of the station, you're close to services, banks, 
um, restaurants and, and have the station fronts are usually quite a desirable places to live. I live right now one minute from my station. I made it like this. The rent was, I found a jewel of an apartment and I'm, I'm not going to show it, do an apartment tour. I don't kind of do that stuff, but I will stream inside my apartment. I just won't give you a tour of it. Um, if you're a Patreon supporter, you're going to get question and answers from inside my apartment anyways because I do que live question and answers for people interested in coming to Japan or they, they have questions they want to ask me. I do that twice a month on Patreon. But uh, the criteria for me was to find an apartment that was very close to the station, um, a place where I can I, I, I had a nice enough sunlight to get in because I had a mold problem a little bit at my last apartment. Um, now I have more than enough sunlight. It's a steal. The apartment also has like a storage facility for stuff that I, I, I want to store for me and my wife and it has an, a, a nice kitchen. It has a very nice living space. The balcony is a little bit bigger, so I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm paying four or five hundred dollars more a month. But with two of us, um, we, we kind of needed a little bit. Of, it's just a little bit extra space and a little bit more convenient. It's closer to where my wife lives and works too because I can kind of go anywhere else. So that was a, a determinant on, on me picking this location um, but I, I really do like living here in Chuoku because everything is just hooked up really well um, so I pay about fifteen hundred dollars a month um, a month in rent which is actually pretty good for this area it's not one of those it, well, I'm not gonna t tell you if it's one of those high-rise skyscraper mansion places maybe it isn't maybe it is but it's enough space for uh, for us and we're very happy I'm back what was the cheapest apartment you lived in? The first one. Uh, I lived out in Nedimaku, and it was, uh, which is about 30 minutes, about 25 minutes from Shinjuku. Yeah. And it was about uh, 80,000 yen. That's like 700 bucks. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, it was a pretty cheap place. 700 bucks a month. Yeah. The cheapest apartment I lived in was $250 a month. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it was in um I can't even imagine how big was it? Like one it wasn't tatami that, mat? It wasn't that Sleep big. standing up. The school the, I worked for an English school and the English school paid for the apartment complexes, but the rate that they paid just, just depended. It, there was no like set limit. That school had a crappy apartment. And I was living there for just for 3 months, but it was 250 I found out because I asked the neighbor. It's 200 it was a 1k with just a little kitchenette, $250 a month, 10 minute walk from the station, a small station mm. with trains that like came once once every 30 minutes. Very inconvenient. What? Sign. Oh. I'm not taking you there. Is that where we're having lunch? No, I just I'm the place is just right over there. It's beyond that sign. It's not on the second floor. It's not on I'm taking you there. So, um, <laughs> it's just like, it's just like, you have sharp little eyes, dude, with those sunglasses. Well, it's sun not even sunny. <laughs> and you like, you like pin that. I didn't see that. Um, see what? That sign. What's that? Sign? I, have you been there before? Seems like you know this place. That's expensive. Oh, so just for the record, a, a gay bar is not the same meaning as in the United States. It's usually um, trans, no, the people are transgender putting on performances. I know that because I've, I've had clients take me out to them for fun and it's it's more of a show than it is a bar. It's not like the Blue Oyster Club, or Blue Oyster Boy from Police Academy. Just just want to clarify that because I was freaked out when he says we're going to a gay bar. My client said that, I'm like, what? What? And it was it was actually a lot of fun. Yeah, so, sure, yeah, they're always fun. It, it's, it, is, it is pretty fun. And um, on that topic, let's close with this. Sure. Uh, for those who are gay, uh, if you're in Tokyo, I'm sure you already have done your research, but Nichome is the area near Shinjuku. That's the, uh, that's the popular gay area in Tokyo. And uh, those bars are a blast. I have gay friends and sometimes I go with them. But, you, but, that, but what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to be gay to go to those no, places don't. because don't. it's not like a pickup place for people. Just like Rapungi is well, not, has, has stopped being a pickup place for everybody, right? Rapungi was... Well, We're way off topic. Yeah. All right. Let's just let's. Well, yeah. this, that's a whole nother story. So it's another. That's a we'll whole nother story. That. All right. The place I'm taking you is right up here. Sushi call? Shh. No, that's not it. So thank you very much, Peter, for sharing your experience. I, I got it. You know, you can thank him again right now. Okay. Thank you. As yes. Always, pleasure. Pleasure, Deborah. I saw the super chat. Thank you for joining us, Deborah. I appreciate that very much. Um, I try to answer all the super chats. 
that I can here. John and Peter get a snack on us. We are doing that right now. Oscar, thank you. And Deborah, I, I, it's okay if you missed us. I'm gonna do, we might do another live stream on Peter's channel, right, Peter? Yeah, sure. Maybe. Sure. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing another live stream later on. So, see yeah. you guys. All right, so Lunch long. time. I'll share the last 20 seconds with this unusual intersection in Ginza, or usual. And I'll invite you guys to my and Rika's wedding.